Hi, welcome. This is Kathy Passeri from the Centre of Instructional Technology and Online Learning at the University of Maryland Eastern Shore. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up your Grade Centre in Blackboard for weighted totals. This is for the scenario that your syllabus shows weighted percentages. If we look at this grade view of the syllabus, it says that the grades are determined by the following and you see it's listed by percentages. Therefore, we need to use the weighted total column in Blackboard. And that's what I'm going to show you today. Additionally, I'm going to show you, for those of you who use WebAssign, how to bring over your WebAssign. So let's get started and we'll take a look at this. Firstly, I'm going to go to my grade center of my course and once I go in there, I can scroll down and I'm going to go to the full grade center. I can click on this arrow, it will take me straight to the grade center and here it is here. The first thing I want to do is I want to set up these categories. So you can see I've got these categories with these percentages. I need to make sure that they're and this is a one-time deal and you can copy these from one semester to another. So let's go and click manage and we're going to select categories and by default there are these categories but as you can see I need a study log, learning assignment and homework. Let's quickly go and do that. We click on create category. The first one is going to be study log okay and I like to, you don't have to, but I actually like to write my percentages in here and just click submit. That's the first one done. The next one is a learning assignment. And that one I believe is 10%. Let me just verify that before I go any further. 10% yes. Submit. I'm going to do a homework. And I'm going to complete all of these. So I'm not going to hold you up while I complete all of these. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, so now you can see that we've got all our categories in here that was going to match the. Let me pull this over to the side here so you can take a look at this. And you will see that my categories, I've got my study log learning. This instructor has decided that he's not going to call his hourly test. There's a test in here and he's going to use that. Let's continue to our next step. Our next step is actually assigning these into the grade center weighted total column. First thing that I'm going to do is I go to the weighted total and you can see here in this grade center I need to clean it up a bit because this green check mark is external grade and we don't need this total column total column is only for point based. If I click on the drop down there's no delete column. So what I need to do is on the weighted total which is the column we're going to use I'm going to click set as external grade so that, that is there and then now I can click on the drop down and select delete column. And you can see now the external grade is a grade that always shows up on any report that's generated from Blackboard and every grade center needs to have one external grade. Now what we're going to do is on the weighted total column here I'm going to click on the drop down I'm going to click on edit column information. This is where I'm going to sign actually the percentages. Where I wrote the percentages before was just a note for myself. Once again if I go I need to click on my test I can hold down now my control key and I'm going to select my study log, my homework, my quizzes and I can grab those and they're all my categories and I'm letting go of my control key after I've selected these. Click the arrow here to move them across and now what I want to do is I want to quickly enter in the percentages that they are weighted. So as you can see on the study log is 5, learning assignments is 5, Homework is, sorry, learning assignments is 10, homework is 10, quizzes is 10, final examination is 20, and I believe tests are 45. Let's see if I got that right. Yep, total of 100 down here, so I can go and submit that. 
Okay, so now no grades are appearing in my weighted total because they have got no grade columns in here. The next thing that I need to do, I'm, this is a math course, I need to go to WebAssign and I need to export my grades from grade columns from WebAssign. To do that, you're going to go to Course Tools, then under Course Tools here, we're going to go to WebAssign, and then once I'm in, in here, once I think I can select Import Grades, and you'll see that you've got a little spinning up on your tab on your web browser so we just need to wait for these grades to import from WebAssign. Okay so our grades have imported from WebAssign here and you can see all these grade columns here that has come across. But as you can tell that we still don't have anything in our weighted total and that is because these grade columns all have the category of WebAssign and we need to assign them their correct categories. What I can do from here is I'll go to Manage and Column Organization and then I can see all my columns along here and what I need to do here is all of these LRNs these are my learning assignments I'm going to change category to learning assignment here and you can see in this third column they've been assigned that learning assignment these HWK is the homework and we're going to change it to the homework category the quiz we're going to select those and change that to quizzes and then the test is going to be an ex test here and oh, there's a quiz here I missed I can see that by web sign and I'm going to change that to my quizzes as well so you can see here everything is there's no longer anything that says web assign that's important the begin here quiz that's optional if you want to use that that is not coming from web assign I'm going to click submit now and as you can see that my weighted total has this percentage so we are all set here the nice thing about this is as you go and import other columns from WebAssign and assign those categories, it will automatically calculate in here. Please note that if there is an issue here where this grade is not matching the one in WebAssign, then there is something wrong with the calculation. Either you've put your percentages incorrect in Blackboard or maybe a incorrect column is assigned to the incorrect category in WebAssign. If that is the case, uh, contact your math course coordinator who should be able to help you with that and make sure that your percentages and everything is weighted correctly over on the WebAssign side. If everything is correct over on the WebAssign, then open up a help desk ticket for Blackboard and I'd be happy to check it out for you. Don't hesitate to call our office if you need assistance with this. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.